All right, everybody, welcome to today's video. Today's video, what I'm doing in my 2014 Jeep, it has an auxiliary fuel tank, but somebody had wired it up full time and I don't want it on all the time, even when the vehicle isn't running. So I'm gonna to wire to the switch that was installed, but never ever used. And this is a five pin switch. So these top two are gonna be for the ground and these ones right here are going to be my power leads and then this is going to be terminated back to here so i'm going to jump her into this one right here daisy chain it over to here pull back this wire right here cut it run it to these and then back at this stage in the game, I just collected all the stuff I'm going to need. Wiring, heat shrink, soldering iron, wire strippers. If you're ever in the market for wire strippers, I recommend this style right here. It comes in many different brand names, but it is probably the best wire stripper that you're ever going to use. So this is my ground setup that I'm going to use without modifying any wires in the system. I could have actually cut this one end off. Leave this here. Could have actually just cut this end off and then soldered these ones together. But I'm just going to pigtail from there to there and then into there. Now please keep in mind that I am adapting my grounds to the system I got. You'll probably just utilize the two grounds in the switch and then to your actual ground source. So I got the grounds wired on the switch. So I'm gonna cut the red wire, bridge it to these two, have another connector come back, which will connect to the wire that goes back to the plug. Now, once again, I'm just building my adapters that I will utilize in the system that I'm building. Of course, once again, Yours could be very well different, are similar. So I have the two jumpers made. So now I gotta take the red wire, that is my positive, and cut it and splice into it. I already know the power is off, but this is something you want to make sure I definitely need to cut it in the spot or things are not going to be awkward, that's for sure. Now in my setup I decided to solder the wires together. Now of course you could utilize a butt connector or many other different types of connections, but in this video and the way I'm setting it up I am just soldering the wires. So the grounds are attached, the two powers are plugged in. I don't have the power going back to the switch because now I'm going to plug that fuse tap back in and we're going to check for power. Because you don't want to plug it back in and let the smoke out of the wires just quite yet. All right. You can see it lights up. So we're probably good. I'm just gonna verify that for sure. Perfect. So now to refresh, this wire comes in directly from your power source. And once again, your power source wire, you can see where it ties into in the diagonal. This power wire will go back to what you wanna turn on and then your two grounds go to the top. And there we are, that's how we wire up 
a five pull switch. So you got a little blue light behind. If you have any questions or comments, post them below. And I'll see you guys in the next video.